Welcome to EPG Patshala. Today we will be discussing the topic bioinformatics. Modern day biology is witnessing vast amount of data explosion contributed from information generated from genome and sequencing projects. Abundance of data resulting from functional genomics and other high throughput techniques with the power of computing has led to rise of bioinformatics as a discipline. Bioinformatics is contributed from various fields such as biology, statistics, biophysics, computer sciences and chemistry to name a few. Bioinformatics is one of the most sought after fields of modern science with the power of assimilation, organization and analysis of data. The rise of bioinformatics started with the contribution of Frederick Sanger through a sequence of bovine insulin being ciphered in the year 1956. Shortly after the ciphering of first protein sequence, the first bioinformatic database came into light. The contribution of introduction of first bioinformatic database goes to Margaret Oakley Dayhoff who also published this database as Protein Sequence Database in 1965 as Atlas of Protein Sequence and Structure. She is appropriately regarded as both mother and father of bioinformatics. Dayhoff has contributed to model of evolution which is called as PAM model. She has also contributed to establishment of one letter code for amino acids. The rise or exponential growth of bioinformatics started somewhere in 1980s when DNA sequencing techniques were contributing to additional information about the DNA sequences. Henceforth, bioinformatics has become a full-fledged discipline with ever-increasing knowledge of sequence, data, structure, information, analysis tool to name a few. Learning Outcomes Emergence of Bioinformatics as a Discipline Chronological Developments in Growth and Establishment of Bioinformatics Understanding Key Branches and Applications of Bioinformatics in Various Fields Importance, Aims and Scope of Bioinformatics Role of Bioinformatics in Rational Drug Designing and process of drug development. Sequence alignment and homology finding through tools of bioinformatics. Briefly discussing some of the chronological developments in bioinformatics. Starting with the year 1902, M. L. Fisher won Nobel Prize for showing amino acids linked to form proteins. Time since, many developments have led to rise of bioinformatics as a discipline. For example, in the year 1950, Edwin Chagra finds base pairing rule for cytosine with guanine and adenine with thymine. In the year 1962, Pauling's gave theory of molecular evolution. In a breakthrough year 1965, Margaret Dayhoff published Atlas of Protein Sequences. 1966, first bioinformatics system contributed by Margaret Oakley Dayhoff. PAM model of protein evolution described. 1971, email program invented by Ray Tomlinson. 1973, Brookhaven Protein Data Bank announced, Robert Metcalf describes Ethernet. 1974, first use of the term Internet as a shorthand for internetworking. 1980, complete gene sequence of first organism published. 1981, Smith-Waterman algorithm for sequence alignment published. 1982, 
GenBank released 1983 production of DNA clone libraries. 1985 FASTA algorithm published. Swiss broad database created. 1986 automated sequencing technique introduced by Leroy Hood. 1988 National Center for Biotechnology Information NCBI created. 1990 BLAST program implemented. 1994 European Molecular Biology Laboratory EMBL EBI European Bioinformatics Institute established in Hingston, UK. 1995 Microsoft releases version 1.0 for Internet Explorer. 2001 Human Genome Published. 2003 Human Genome Project Completed. 2004 Brown Norway Laboratory Drafts Rat Genome. Defining Bioinformatics as a Discipline According to Oxford English Dictionary Definition, Bioinformatics is the science of information and information flow in biological systems, especially of the use of computational methods in genetics and genomics. Bioinformatics thus is the science of storing, extracting, organizing, analyzing, interpreting and utilizing information from biological sequences and molecules. The primary goal of bioinformatics is to increase the understanding of biological processes. Bioinformatics enables recording, annotation, storage, analysis, searching and retrieval of nucleic acid sequences, protein sequences and even the structural information. Sequential flow of information in biology follows central dogma which is also called as a mechanism scheme of transfer of biological information. The scheme was given by Francis Crick in the year 1958 as a mechanism of protein synthesis according to which DNA transcribes into mRNA and this mRNA translates finally into protein. The sequential flow describes three types of transfers. Firstly is the journal transfer also believed to be allowed transfer. In a journal transfer that is the allowed transfer there are different modes of transfer which occur normally in most of the cells. This is also called normal flow of biological information. Here DNA can be copied to DNA through replication via an enzyme called DNA polymerase or DNA information can also further be copied into mRNA through transcription by RNA polymerase and transcription factors. Mature mRNA can hence be translated into proteins. Second type of transfer projected in mechanism scheme are special transfers which occur only under specific conditions. These include reverse transcription where the transfer of information from RNA to DNA as seen in the case of retroviruses such as HIV as well as in eukaryotes in case of retrotransposons and telomere synthesis occur. RNA replication is also a means of special transfer. Here 
where one RNA is copied into another. Many viruses replicate this way. Direct translation from DNA to protein has also been demonstrated in a cell-free system using bacterial extract containing ribosomes. Methylation through the action of enzyme DNA methylases are also believed to be special transfers. The effective information content has been changed by means of action of proteins on DNA without altering primary DNA sequence. Prions which are the proteins that propagate themselves by making conformational changes in other molecules of same type of protein are also examples of special transfers. The third type of transfers are unknown transfers which are believed never to occur. That is protein to DNA, RNA or proteins are never allowed. Branches of Bioinformatics Bioinformatics has three cardinal branches namely genomics, transcriptomics and proteomics. Bioinformatics deals at the level of all inclusive understanding and expression of macromolecules of life. It deals with holistic view of molecules that make up a cell, tissue or organism aiming primarily at detection of genes, mRNA, proteins and metabolites. Now we will be discussing the three cardinal branches of bioinformatics. Firstly is genomics. Genomics is the study of structure, function and expression of all the genes comprising an organism. By definition, a genome is a complete set of genetic information of an organism. Genetic information is stored in DNA in the form of genes. Gene expression patterns and gene function can also be influenced by reversible non-genetic changes in genome, structure and chromosome organization without altering the DNA sequence. Such epigenetic changes involve DNA methylation and modification of histones by methylation, acetylation and reverse phosphorylation which can be studied through epigenomics. Pharmacogenomics describes influence of an individual patient's DNA sequence variation on effectiveness of a drug. Common variations in DNA sequences such as single nucleotide polymorphisms have functional significance on change codon for different amino acids. Some total of RNA transcribed in a cell or organism under a given set of condition is its transcriptome. Hence, transcriptome is the language of expression of genes on DNA. Therefore, transcriptomics enables characterization of entire mRNA content along with intended changes in gene expression profile under altered physiological state of cell or tissue. The localization, functions, modifications and amount of entire proteins produced at organism level is ascertained through proteomics. Set of protein to protein interaction in a cell is called as an interactome. Compared to genome, interactome provides deeper insight into resulting biological complexity and allows comprehensive understanding of biosystems. Collective metabolic profile of a living system under specified conditions is its metabolome. This helps predict metabolic response of organism to changing physiological conditions. 
A measure of metabolic fingerprint of physiochemical perturbations caused in state of disease, drug toxicity, is a branch called metabonomics. Understanding the importance of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics is concerned about the creation and maintenance of databases of biological information whereby researchers can both assess existing information and submit new entries. Biomolecular structure, functional genomics, proteome analysis, cell metabolism, biodiversity, drug and vaccine design are some of the areas in which bioinformatics is an integral component. What comprises a biological database? Well, a biological database is an assemblage of data which is structured, searchable, timely updated, validated and cross-referenced. The main purpose of database is to make biological data available and systemized. This is for easy retrieval as well as analysis of computed biological information. There are seven attributes of a biological database namely data heterogeneity that is the diversity in the type of data obtained as sequences, 3D structure, patterns, graphics etc. Second feature is high volume data that is the large amount of information hidden in these databases. Uncertainty is associated with any biological phenomena to be true, which is another attribute of biological database. Then is data curation, which is maintenance, management and value addition to obtain biological data. Large scale data integration is needed due to newly generated data and additional information discovered on existing data through ongoing research. Data sharing or exchange of data through databases is required among scientific community. This is also an important attribute of biological databases. Then biological databases are always dynamic and subject to change with the scope of additions and improvements. Classifying biological database. Databases are classified on different bases. The first basis of classification is on the basis of data type. Second basis of classification is on the basis of data access. Thirdly, on the basis of maintenance of status, data source, database design and on the basis of organism. On the basis of data type, databases are genome database, sequence database, structure database, microarray database, chemical database, pathway database, enzyme database, disease database and literature database. Sequence database is further divided into protein database and nucleotide database. Understanding database on the basis of data type, genome database. Genome database has various examples. Firstly is Ensemble. It is a genome database for vertebrates and other eukaryotic species. Zenbase is Xenopus web resource, a database integrating diverse array of biological and genomic data on frogs, Xenopus lavis and Xenopus silurana tropicalis. Zfin, zebrafish information network is an online database of information about Danio radio zebrafish. WormBase is a genome database discussing biology and genome of 
Cynorhabditis elegans. It is a central data repository for nematode biology. Examples of sequence database. Sequence database are generally divided into nucleotide database and protein database. Nucleotide database includes EMBL, European Molecular Biology Laboratory, GenBank and DDBJ that is DNA Data Bank of Japan. Whereas protein database includes SwissProt, protein sequence data bank sequence entries are included in SwissProt, Tremble or TREMBL, it contains all the translations of EMBL nucleotide sequence entries not yet integrated in Swiss Prot. There is Interpro, it is a database of protein families, domains, and functional sites. Another example is PANDIT, which is homologous sequence alignments database accompanied by estimate of their corresponding phylogenetic trees. Structure database. Examples include protein data bank PDB which is a three dimensional structural data of large biological molecules. Then is NDB nucleic acid database which provides structural information about nucleic acids. Discussing microarray database as an example of types of database under data type is an example Miami. It stands for minimum information about a microarray experiment and is a standard for recording and reporting microarray based gene expression data. Chemical database include CHEMBL and CHEBI. Pathway database includes KEGG that is Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes and BioPsych as examples. In enzyme database are examples such as Rebase which is a database of information about restriction enzymes and DNA methyl transferases, XPASI that is expert protein analysis system and int ENS that is integrated relational enzyme database which is a freely available source focused on enzyme nomenclature. Disease database. Examples include OMIM, online Mendelian inheritance in man and OMIA, online Mendelian inheritance in animals. Literature database includes Medline, which is bibliographic database of life science and biomedical information. Based on maintainer status, biological databases are NCBI, which is National Center for Biotechnology Information, EMBL, and SIB, Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. Based on data assess, databases are of the type publicly available, available with copyright, browsing only, accessible but not downloadable, academic but not freely available, proprietary commercial, restricted SQL queries under database management system. On the basis of data source, databases are divided as primary, secondary, composite and integrated databases. Primary database is also called archival database. It is public or open access and contains original data submitted from researchers. The identification of sequences of interest from primary databases involves screening a large number of entries. Examples include GenBank, EMBL, DDBJ, SwissProt and PIR.
secondary database also called as curated database contains additional information derived from analysis of entries from primary database. Examples include SCOP that is structural classification of proteins which describes structural and evolutionary relationships between proteins of known structures and CAT class architecture topology homology that includes a hierarchical classification of protein structures as examples of secondary databases. Composite database is amalgamation of several primary database sources. These allow user to assess all relevant information from a single source without the need to search every primary database. Popular example is NCBI which includes several primary and secondary databases such as GenBank, PubMed, OMIM. Integrated database, it contains data collected from different but related organisms. Such data is useful for comparative genomic studies and provides a better insight in evolutionary relationship between genomes of different organisms. Example includes Arabidopsis thaliana integrated database which is a source of comparative data of genome and transcriptome sequence between Arabidopsis thaliana and related Brassica species Brassica rapa and Brassica nigra. On the basis of database design, databases are of the type relational and object oriented databases. A relational database is a structured database to recognize relations between stored items of information. Object oriented database stores data elements as objects. Organism database includes specific database such as Flybase for Drosophila, Maze GDB for Zia Maze, that is corn or maize, Oriza Base for rice species, TAIR, that is the Arabidopsis Information Resource, Scope and Applications of Bioinformatics. Applications of bioinformatics are in various fields of gene therapy preventive medicine, drug development, forensic analysis, microbial genome application, evolutionary studies, crop improvement, waste cleanup, development of alternative source of energy, phylogenetic analysis, comparative studies and even computational biology. Computer Aided Drug Design CADD Drug Discovery and Development Methods play crucial role in designing pharmaceutical important compounds which can function as therapeutic agents or drugs. Computational techniques have paved way for implementation of bioinformatics principle in drug discovery and designing process. The research area of drug designing using computer based approach is designated as computer aided drug design CADD rational drug design, in silico drug design, computational drug design, computer aided molecular design or computer aided rational drug design. Computer aided drug design methods are broadly categorized into two. Number one, structure based drug design. Number two, ligand based drug design approaches. A structure based approach or direct drug designing is also called target based approach. It requires structural information of target which can be obtained from nuclear magnetic resonance, x-ray crystallography or homology modeling. The structure based approaches include ligand docking, pharmacophore and ligand design methods. Ligand based methods are indirect methods that rely on ligand structure information to deduce 
target properties. CADD process consists of following steps. Target hit identification where the active drug candidates are found. Finding lead that is most likely candidates are further evaluated. Compound and lead optimization where transforming of bioactive compounds into suitable drugs is done by improving their physiochemical and pharmaceutical properties for following preclinical and clinical trials. Systems biology. System biology is a subdiscipline of bioinformatics that allows in silico reconstruction of pathways and cellular networks to exemplify functioning of system components in association. It aims at understanding molecular system and networks functioning in integrated manner. Significant task of systems biology is to build models or biosystem to better understand system dynamics and behavior. Models accounting for circadian clocks, cell cycle, models simulating transcription and translation and even large network simulation such as microbial networks to understand their interaction with environment have been developed as an application of systems biology. Moreover, various cellular models have allowed to better understand mechanisms underlying many genetic and neurological disorders. Coming to application in genome organization, studying homology, homologous, orthologous and paralogous sequences. By definition, genome organization refers to sequential organization of simple and complex genomes. The understanding of organization of genome helps to understand distribution, arrangement, expression and regulation of genes and gene products. Distribution of non-coding intronic regions if present as seen in case of eukaryotes. Regions contributing to gene expression that is coding regions called as exons. Regions conserved among and within species. Presence of gene duplications, mutations, pseudogenes providing an overall picture of how and why is the organism as though. The basic mechanism of evolution that is mutation, recombination and natural selection are closely related to genes and dynamics of their replication and translation. Identifying genes and dynamics of genes across species is generally accomplished through homology search. Concept of homology. It is a central concept to computational analysis. Homology generally means relationship of nucleic acid or protein sequences that have descended from a common ancestral sequence. Homology can be inferred from result of sequence similarity. Similarity searching is effective and reliable because sequences that share significant similarity can be inferred to be homologous that is they share a common ancestry. How can homology be inferred? When two sequences or structures share more similarity than would be expected by chance, that is when excess similarity is observed. The simplest explanation is that two sequences arose from a common ancestor. Common ancestry explains excess similarity and therefore excess similarity implies common ancestry. Relatedness of any two sequences can be assessed by performing a pairwise alignment. In a pairwise alignment, two sequences are directly compared next to each other to achieve maximum level of identity. An alignment is local 
when only a small subset of two sequences are aligned. Whereas in a global pairwise alignment, end-to-end full-length alignment of all residues of both sequences is included. BLAST, which is basic local alignment search tool, FASTA, S-Search are commonly used similarity searching programs that provide accurate statistical estimate to reliably infer homology. Defining orthologs and paralogs. Orthologs are homologous sequences in different species that arose from common ancestral gene during speciation. Paralogs are homologs that arose by mechanism of gene duplication without being followed by any speciation event. It is an example of human alpha and human beta hemoglobin genes which are paralogs while mouse alpha and human alpha hemoglobin are examples of orthologs. What is the need to identify orthologs? Firstly, to functionally study equivalent genes involved in particular biological process or metabolic pathway. Secondly, to study fundamental processes and mechanism of genome evolution. And finally, to study fate of genes and biological functions or genetic background of complex traits and inheritable diseases. Databases such as Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes, BioPsych and IMG integrate molecular data on pathways, enzymes and substrate associated with orthologous genes from diverse genomes. They are popularly used databases for ortholog finding and determination of functional homology among sequences. Large amount of biological information has been contributed from various ongoing genome and research projects. Bioinformatics has risen as a discipline integrating biocomplexity and ciphering the information hidden in the genomes and biomolecular structures. As a new field, bioinformatics draws its contribution from fields such as biology, biostatistics, chemistry, biophysics, computers and mathematics. The breakthrough work of bioinformatics started from the contribution of Margaret Oakley Dayhoff, truly regarded as both mother and father of bioinformatics. Her contribution is in establishment of one letter amino acid code, provision of PAM model which is an evolutionary model and in study of different protein structures as an initial database. Bioinformatics is contributed from three cardinal branches which is genomics, transcriptomics and proteomics. The main aim of bioinformatics to understand biocomplexity through ciphering of information hidden in genes, RNA and proteins. Various structural and sequential information are derived from different tools of bioinformatics. Bioinformatics finds various application in the field of gene therapy, drug designing and development, waste cleanup techniques, to name a few. Homolog finding is also one of the important application of bioinformatics. Recently, computer aided drug designing discovery is also an upcoming field of bioinformatics. Various algorithms such as BLAST, FASTA, S-Search, pairwise sequence alignment tools, global and local sequence alignment tools have contributed to a better understanding of this discipline. Thank you.